Dylan Anchetta, who's live from Magic Island. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Ashley and Jonathan. Yeah, it is a beautiful day here out at Magic Island. The sun is shining and that breeze, that breezy trade winds are coming through. I'm going to step out of the shot here and give you a look here. We've got, we're right by some palm trees. They are dancing around. The winds where we are at actually aren't too bad. They're fairly manageable. But of course, the areas of concern are the uh, areas closer to the Malka side of islands. Uh, as you mentioned, this wind advisory is covering much of the state. Now, the National Weather Service has it up for parts of Oahu, Maui County, and especially the summits of Hawaii Island until 6 p.m. Sustained winds of 20 to 35 miles per hour will be possible with gusts near 45 miles an hour. Hour, and even stronger winds are forecast for the summit areas of Haleakala, Mauna Kea, and Mauna Loa. Now, the strongest winds, as mentioned, can be expected along mountain ridges and downslope areas. That includes the leeward slopes of Waianae and Ko'olau mountain ranges here on Oahu. Now, all of this is making for a potentially dangerous situation, as there is also a red flag warning up for leeward portions of the state. That's in effect from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. due to strong winds and low humidity. And what does that mean? That means that there is an increased risk for brush fires to quickly grow, to quickly expand and cause some real trouble out there. As we saw over the weekend, there are brush fires on the major islands of Maui County and Hawaii. And on Maui specifically, the brush fire that has been burning since Election Day has flared back up. Last night, fire officials said the Kaua'ula fire uh, got started again because of these very strong winds. Now, we're told the crews there stayed throughout the night to try and contain the flames. And residents, once again, in the Launiu Poko subdivision were told to be on standby to evacuate if they needed to. Now, at last check, no evacuation orders were needed. However, residents in that area are being told to be on alert, to be ready to go if they have to. And also over on Hawaii Island, firefighters are still at the scene of a brush fire out there in Pahala. It broke out around noon yesterday and at last check, Saturday evening, uh, excuse me, Sunday evening, at least 66 acres have burned so far. And that fire caused a uh, voluntary evacuation of two homes along Miley Street. We are definitely keeping a close eye on that. And again, with these gusty trade winds, it is a concerning scene. Of course, that red flag warning with that high wind advisory, uh, making things very dangerous out here all across the island. So if you are outside or planning to be outside, be sure to use caution if you're planning on grilling, uh, starting campfires, um, and be just very careful out there. And of course, again, the winds here at Magic Island aren't too bad. They're fairly manageable but of course the uh, hairspray wasn't strong enough so my hair is blowing around here but overall it's a nice day ash jonathan back to you thank you so much